our new series called Two Americas, we're showing you different perspectives and solutions to community issues. Tonight, we're looking at kids who are having a tough time thriving in a traditional high school setting. Omaha Street School is helping at-risk youth who are overcoming trauma and poverty receive their diplomas. 3 News Now reporter Isabella Basco shows us their stories. Angeline Booker and Alex Mendez were struggling in high school with personal issues that were interfering with their performance. Homelessness, um, that's really the main thing. Like, and just worrying about like where I was gonna lay my head next and where my next meal was coming from. I was not going to any of my classes and so I was about to get charged with truancy and so then I heard that my stepmom heard about this place. When they enrolled at Omaha Street School, which offered small classes and more personalized learning, both found the same gift, self-worth. I was failing everything. And so, I mean, I would literally go to class, get my attendance and leave. And then, so coming here, you know, you're not allowed to do that. And so you, so, I mean, I sit down, I pay attention in class and I get my homework and stuff done and pass my classes. When I came here, people would always tell me, oh, I'm proud of you, you're doing so great. I'm like, I am? You are? Like, really? I didn't know how to feel. Omaha Street School Executive Director Linda Reimer says these stories make up their mission, offering students a fresh start. For these students, that's everything. They've never had that in their life. You know, we're not good enough. What I do isn't good. I'm a bad person. But when they walk in the door and they hear us say, whatever happened before, it doesn't matter. We are starting over again. Chief Student Advocate Charles Wilson says meeting students where they're at is key to making them successful. Just building that relationship piece where they trust you means a big deal. They come here and we will take this student aside, work with them one on one in math or in, in mm -hmm. English or whatever it takes, and we make sure they're successful. We give them all the tools that they need to be successful. Reimer admits she grew up believing everyone had the chance in America to become what they want to be, but she's realized it's not so simple considering the trauma and poverty these kids come from. Well, when you have observed that, that education is not important, that a job isn't important, that you can't make it from paycheck to paycheck, that drugs, alcohol, and all those kinds of things are answers, and that's what you've grown up in, that's, that's something you can't just shake just by saying, I'm gonna make myself better. And I think that is just was a really eye-opening for us. Booker and Mendez both want the public to understand the lengths they've traveled to succeed. Now I have opportunities to like get scholarships and stuff to go to college. Without downplaying what it took to get there. Imagine you in a situation where you had no clothes or no shoes and you didn't have the money to support yourself or your parents didn't support you. It's stuff like that that I try to get people to realize. Like everyone has a story. Some people are quiet about their story and some people aren't. In Omaha, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now. And to learn more about Omaha Street School, just head to our website. All right, everyone, we'll be right back.